Today's video will cover the purging of the vertical main cylinder. Purging is required whenever air is introduced into the hydraulic system. This can happen during install, replacement of a hydraulic cylinder, hoses, or power pack, or if the dock level is raised by a boom truck. Whenever sweeping or cleaning behind a dock level, I always install the pin in the storage prop. In this situation, we're actually performing maintenance on the dock level, so we need to lower all of our safety devices before working on equipment. First, we're going to lower down our maintenance props on the side of the dock leveler. There's two of them. We'll lower down the closest side to me first. We're using grade 8 bolts. If the grade 8 bolts are missing or damaged, Contact Systems Incorporated will set you up with the correct bolts. Tighten them down with a 15 16 wrench. We'll work into the dock leveler, so the next we're going to install our storage pin. We'll work to the other side of the dock leveler. We're going to lower down these maintenance props. Once the maintenance props are in place, it's safe to work on the dock leveler. When working on any equipment, always lock out and tag out the dock level before work is performed. Okay, with the dock level locked out and tagged out, we can now proceed with bleeding the system. Uh, there's a few things we need to do. One is we need to disconnect the limit switch. The limit switch tells the dock level whether it's stored or not. Two screws on the back side. You need a flathead screwdriver. You loosen up the two screws. You can either loosen it up and turn it over or just remove it. If you remove it, you won't hit it or it won't be in your way, so I prefer just to take it off. And it switches off the side. The next thing we need to do is take our flow control valve and we need to back that out all the way so when we cycle the dock level we get all the air out all the way. So take a small Allen wrench and lock it on your set screw. It's kind of hard to get to sometimes. Okay, then open that up all the way. Next thing we want to do is Underneath this cover, there's a diode rectifier that controls our prop kicker, which is sitting right down here. And we want to disconnect that so that every time we cycle the dock leveler, the prop kicker doesn't kick and possibly burn that out. So, does it have to be disconnected? No, but just good practice. When we're looking at the diode rectifier, it's a square item here. Disconnect one of the wires. Doesn't matter which wire it is, one of the wires. The wire is disconnected. We got everything disconnected except for the hoist cylinder pin. We're going to disconnect the hoist cylinder pin next. To do that, we need to take off this rule clip, and this rule clip locks in place. We disconnect the lock, pull the pin out, take the washer off, and then we take a hammer and we drive that pin out with a drift. Cross the other side of the dock leveler, and we're going to pound this out. pin, the wash is out of the way. Before we can bleed the cylinder, we'll have to remove the lockout tag out so we can run the dock leveler. We want to cycle all the air out of the cylinder. To do that, we're going to raise and lower the dock leveler. The cylinder will run up and down and work all the air out of it. We want to do this at least six times, but for demonstration purposes, we're just going to do it once. So my partner is going to operate the dock leveler. Go ahead.
and lower. Okay, now that the cylinder's blood, we need to cook the cylinder back up to the base here. But we want to make sure that it's set correctly. To do that, we want to make sure that the, when the pin slides through the rod eye, it's half the distance below the hole. So if you take a look at this, the rod eye is half the distance below the, below the pin. The reason for this is when the dock level rocks back as it starts to, it's doing its lowering process, we don't hyperextend the cylinder and damage it. So now we know it's half the distance below the hole. If it wasn't, we'd adjust the rod eye. We need to slide the pin in, but the pin's not going to slide in at this point. So we need to raise or lower the cylinder in here. Hit the button, please. Jog it again. Jog it again. 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 Hold on a second. Okay, now it's lined up. Before you put the pin in, always verify there's no cracks or rips or tears. Make sure it's not bent. The pin looks in good shape, so we're going to put it back in. We're going to reuse it. We take the pin, put two washers on each side. Washers are always required, or else the rod eye can side shift back and forth, and it could damage the rod eye. So once we got that pin in place, put a washer on the back side. We're going to put a rule clip in. And then we're going to put in the manual lock position. That's locked in place. With the cylinder pin, we'll put the lockout tag out back on. So we're going to put our wire back on our prop kicker solenoid. And put the cover back on. This cover is cracked or damaged, replace it. Reconnect our limit switch. The last we need to set up is our downspeed adjustment. On the old style systems, it's kind of like a silver in color. We're going to take this downspeed adjustment, we're going to turn it all the way in until it stops, and back it out one and a half turns for your starting point. If you have the newer style, it'll be gold looking. That unit, you're going to go all the way until it's closed and back that one out an eighth of a turn. Either way, we want to set the downspeed so when we lower the dock level, it lowers down on 15 to 20 seconds. Quick tighten this up. We put this dock lever back into service. Before we do that, I've already rotated the maintenance prop on the other side of the dock lever. I'm going to remove the storage pin out of the prop. And then I'm going to remove or rotate the maintenance props up on the sides. With the maintenance props up, we're going to remove the lockout tag out. Disconnect on, dock will power up, and our blue store light will come on. Operate the dock leveler through a complete operating cycle to verify the dock leveler is functioning properly.
If no issues, return back to service.